Here we are next day after starting the rafter reinforcement like you saw in yesterday's video. Got out here at 6 a.m. this morning, got the barn the rest of the way emptied. I got all that old straw out, all the old logs and wood that he had in here, all the little scrap pieces and stuff hauled out. Everything that was trash, I got it out and I, I did burn it out there and I'm going to be tarping up all this stuff and covering it up so that way it does not get poured on because I did get a message this morning stating that there's supposed to be some bad weather coming in tomorrow so they're gonna hold off on their construction jobs tomorrow and head on over here to do our concrete tomorrow since it's gonna be a rainy day so that is that is the plan we're gonna be working on the rafters some more and it looks like they bring in even more rock right now. So we're gonna be working on the rafters today though, trying to continue rafter reinforcement. That's our mission. Um, again, cutting the nails on these boards where they popped out and the nails are no longer intact, cutting the nails off that are hanging out and refastening in with screws that are long enough to go through those boards through the two by eight rafter and sandwich the two by four in on the other side, creating that. Go a little bit slower so you guys can see what we did here. You can see the contact point down the base. It all comes down to a point like that. Center supports, and it really strengthens up these trusses. I mean, this is what we've got going on currently. That's, what it, that's how it was. All those two by fours are popping off. With those old nails, the boards are bowing out and stuff. And we are restructuring it to make it a whole heck of a lot stronger than what it is right now. And again, I'm no contractor, I'm no engineer, I'm just a guy trying to do what he knows how to, to try to save his barn and then try to turn it into a comfortable, functional garage space using what I got. It's either rebuild an entirely new shop for essentially 30 to 35 grand or I save this barn and turn this into my DIY dream garage slash shop space for about 10 to 15. So we're gonna go that route for now and I'm gonna just try to do it all myself except for the concrete work. But yeah, I'm gonna get to cutting a bunch of boards for these trusses and then hopefully we can knock a bunch out today. Next day guys, did get some more work done on the rafters in the barn with the trusses, kind of like reconstructing them to make them stronger so that they last a lot longer. At least that's the hope. And so that if we do decide to either just spray foam the ceiling or hang tin, it's gonna help. We're working on this project here. My dad was in town this past weekend and there was actually no wall here. This is in our basement. There was no wall here at all. We did all the wood paneling on the exterior and the interior wall. Last night, my wife and I and my brother-in-law, we also trimmed everything out. So we did one by six on the bottom, one by fours around the door frame and the rest of the wall, along with one by sixes as the interior part here of the door to box it out. And then the opposite wall is actually cedar with one by four and one by six pine trim boards. We actually stained them with the stain that I used for a farm table that I built for upstairs. And so it kind of ties in with some of the other colors we're gonna be bringing into the house here. 
sorry, I'm trying to try not to show you all of our all of our basement. But this is the wall that we have right here. So we got to put the trim pieces. We got to measure, cut, put the trim pieces back on here. Now that this is going to be a bedroom, um, put the trim pieces back in the window that I don't know why they ever even took off because they are laying over here on the floor for whatever reason. They are not on the wall, but I'm going to put those back on. And then at some point here, we are going to be actually building this out, building in that frame and making this like a corner vanity area in the guest bedroom here, changing up the sink setup and set up here in general. This is all this cabinet train everything's going to be. We're going to be custom building something that kind of ties in with this stuff and then probably removing the corner cabinetry and then actually building in a corner closet. Almost an official bedroom. The room is 11 feet by 18 feet long. So it's a decent sized room. Once we get all this stuff simplified over here, it'll be a lot better. So for today though, I'm going to be putting all the trim pieces back on that we had to remove when we had to build in the wall on both sides and the exterior pieces because now all the measurements are going to be a little bit different. So we're going to take those measurements, cut those, put the trim pieces back on, put the trim pieces on around the window. And we do actually have a new sliding barn door we're going to be putting on this wall. And although I'm not going to show you all the basement, this whole part is actually the basement kitchen area that's not finished out. And right now it's cluttered with some of the stuff we're using for this project and some other stuff we got going on. And we haven't completely unpacked everything in our house. So I'm trying not to show you all the rest of it, but um, we're actually going to build out this kitchen to kind of match those accent walls. And um, we're gonna try to match the exterior wall that's open into this basement, which it's a, it's a really big basement space. So we're gonna kinda turn it into like an entertainment center for like family and friends. And then we're going to match all the kitchen. We're gonna like reconstruct this basement kitchen and make it functional as like an entertainment kitchen more than anything else. So like it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Pretty cool once it's done, but we're gonna get to doing the trim pieces, doing the door, and the concrete guys are actually here today for the shop space. So if you guys wanna see that tomorrow, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do a video on that. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is in completion we basically took a pine barn door coated it he keeps nodding his head now pine barn door coated it with a dark walnut danish oil pine trim same oil barn door with the hidden track and hidden uh, wheels i guess on the back one by six and one by four trim and then a cedar wall on this side, one by four and one by six trim matches the exterior. Window is all trimmed back up, trimmed back up, trimmed back up. All the trim pieces are back in place. This wall was not here just about under a week ago. And it looks pretty good. And this drive is also gonna have to get done here soon. There's an old base under here because there was a rock truck came through. They used a lot of the rock now, but it was like 70,000 pounds between the truck and the rock. And he made some imprints in the grass. He didn't go sinking down in there and tear everything up. They were here this morning and everything is just fine where they came through. I mean, this skid loader tore up some stuff with the tracks, but other than that, it's totally fine. And then you can see where they took the center drain inside of the barn and they actually already got that drain set and they put the piping to the outside of the barn. And you can see all of the dirt that they hauled out of here. And uh, they got this all, all down in there. Again, they got that drain set, they put in all the new rock, put the mesh down. Yeah, so it's, it's ready to go. I mean, it's, ready for them to get in here and knock it out. They actually took it down between the dirt they hauled out and the new rock they added. They took it down to where the actual concrete level is going to be right at the floor of the barn. 
which is actually really nice. I thought they were gonna have to build it up a little bit because all the rock that was in there was already so high. Same with the other side. I'll go around and show you that in a minute. But then around back here, you can see we're actually gonna do the lean-to as well. So they got this all prepped and everything as well this morning. I mean, they were here at like 6 a.m. and they had all this done by eight, inside and out. And then I look out back and they already had everything loaded up and gone. They probably went to go do another job, then they're gonna come back when the concrete shows up. They got that all done quick. I'm hoping, I don't know what they're gonna do with this dirt. I'm, I have a feeling you're probably just gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna have to find something to do with it. But I'm hoping that they offer to move it over there. Worst case scenario, it's fine. We can still pull through here, but it's just gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt because I don't have anything with a bucket on it. So I'm gonna have to borrow something to get it moved. But yeah. Looks pretty good. And now this is something that, I was kind of telling you guys, I had some ideas for this lean-to and part of me didn't want to do anything with it just because I'm like, it's not the nicest lean-to, whatever. But I thought, here's the thing without completely rebuilding everything on the lean-to. The posts and everything are solid and everything's solid. So if I just replace the front facing board and the rear that's rotted from being out in the weather and I can wall close this all in, except for maybe the back 20 feet, you know, so from this center post back, leave one side closed in, but leave the back open and then completely close in this side and from that post up to the wall and close in the front and put like a man door on it. At least then I could use this back portion here. I'll have like an eight foot by 20 foot section for like storage, shelving, spare wheels and tires and stuff. Just stuff that normally I would have in our other barn that's like all cluttered in the back of the videos and stuff. And I can have as much wall space available as possible to fit, you know, a truck or two more hopefully in the barn once it's all done because I can get all the shelving that I used to have along the walls in the old place stored out separately over here, that way it's not taking up a bunch of space inside of the barn. That's the thought process behind this. Basically my own on-site, you know, external storage um, on the outside of the barn, close this in, make it usable. Because like I said, all this lumber's fine, except for the end boards that are totally exposed to the weather. They're showing signs of wear and tear, but everything else is good and it's solid. So I figured, hey, they're gonna be out here. And it was gonna be like an extra 1500 bucks for them to do the lean-to. So I was like, just do the freaking lean-to. So I did actually get them all reinforced all the way up to just above the garage door. I've got one more left on this side, then this half of the barn is done. Then I gotta do the other half, but that's gonna have to wait now until this is all done. But like I was saying, in the front even, when they take that board and they flip it up, um, that's gonna be where the concrete's gonna be at, which is gonna be basically just a hair below the level of the door, which is nice. But the good thing is they didn't take up a whole bunch of extra space, they actually, did it in a way that allows us to keep as much ceiling clearance as possible, which I was kind of curious on how they were gonna do that because we didn't pre-discuss how, how much dirt and ground I wanted him to take out. I guess, you know, he's just done it long enough. He probably just assumes you want as much clearance as possible. So that's what they did. A little bit of a combination of a few things that I just had to get done over the last two days here. But anyways, if you want to get entered to win this 1995 compound turbo 12 off Cummins plus five thousand dollars cash this is all you've got to do to get entered and on top of that we are doing two fifty dollar winners every day of the giveaway until it ends which at this point i believe is like less than 24 hours it ends on june 3rd at 11 59 p.m that night so if it's june 3rd it's your last day to get entered to win this truck plus the five grand so if you want to get in on that all you have to do is go to lnpgear.com and place an order and every one dollar right now is 30 entries towards winning that truck plus the five thousand dollars cash somebody's got to take that thing home could be you but you're never going to know if you don't put those entries in thanks so much guys for all the love and all the support and i will catch you here in the next video peace